Hey guys, good evening, it's Lee and welcome to iMineBlocks. Today's video I'll be showing you how to mine Grin using the C31 algorithm. So as you may or may not know, Grin uses two proof of work algorithms. One is called C29, which is the Cook Aru, and it's also mined with C31, which is a Kuka 2 algorithm. So both those algorithms are quite similar, uh, but the C31 is primarily designed for ASICs. At the moment, there's no ASICs that are available to mine it. Uh, what you can actually do is mine it using a high-end uh, graphics card. So in this particular video, I'm going to show you how to mine it using an NVIDIA graphics card. You need a 1070 T higher or higher. So uh, bear that in mind. Um, so I'm going to be using this miner for the very first time. I've not used this miner before. It is the G miner and it's the 1.31. Um, and I'm just going to get set up with it for the very first time and show you everything uh, in this video. Um, so let's get going. So on the Bitcoin talk thread, which is actually this tab here, you can see we've got the uh, description. It's currently version 1.31. Uh, this is a multi miner, so you can use it to mine uh, many other algorithms as well, not just the uh, green algorithms. So as I was saying, Kukuru 29, you uh, can expect, um, or the results that I've had with my uh, GTX 1080 Ti is around about 7.2 uh, giga hashes. So that's uh, fairly typical. Um, so there's no change there really. But with this uh, miner, you can also mine Cook2 uh, C31, and we can see the results here. So 0.7 giga hashes. What I'm kind of hoping for is if I can get a slightly higher performance, then it will probably be more profitable uh, to mine Grin using C31 than it is um, C29. So they're the other stats that you can get there as well. So let's, uh, sorry, go back and um, download the miner. So I've not done a super amount of uh, research into this miner. It's a little bit of um, unknown to me. I'm not super familiar with it, so I wouldn't recommend using it on your uh, main machines. Just use it on your minor machines. Don't put it on the same machines as your wallets and uh, just be safe with it. So let's open up in a new tab. Uh, one other thing I just wanted to look at quickly. Um, I didn't notice a dev fee amount. I presume there would be a dev fee on there, but I don't know what that amount is or where it is. Uh, sorry, the fee is uh, it's a 2% dev fee, okay. So let's uh, get this download going. So it's 1.31 and we want to... Um, download it, it's already a zip file. So we save that to our downloads folder and then we'll open that up. We'll see what we've got so we need to extract it okay so we've got some sample bat files that is useful so we're going to be mining on green 31 so let's take a look inside this batch file and we are going to edit it okay so I'm just gonna customize this batch file um, and replace it with settings that are useful obviously to me. So I've got the B minor which was um, what I was using previously for the C29 but we're still going to mine to Grinpool as well so let's open up and edit that. So it is So it's grinpool.org and the pool is, um, sorry that's not quite right, eu.stray. So just double checking all these details. So the pool is eu.stratum.grinpool-org and I'm just going to check the pool. I think the pool is the same for C29 and 31. But I'll just double check. So if you go to uh, the Grimple website, and let's just have a look and just make sure there is no difference on the ports. Um, 
yeah, it looks like it's the same for yeah e either um, either proof of work. Is it no? I can't remember if there's a space there. I think there was a space there. <laughs> and um, so I'm not too sure exactly on the uh, formatting. So I guess it's username. And then the, is that your not too sure where the password part goes in. I, know I might have to have a quick look at the README and work this out. But we'll put our rig name in here. So yeah, this is the problem when you kind of do things for the first time. Um, and when I'm showing you these kind of uh, things, there's lots of obviously unknowns and we don't know exactly what we're doing, but we're fumbling around. Um, but it's worth showing you guys anyway, so you can kind of get an idea of what I, what I go through behind the scenes. Um, so let's just take a quick look at the readme. Okay, so it should just be like a full stop or a period in between the username and the kind of the worker name. So um, that should be more appropriate. Okay, so we're about done with the config. So let's open up the afterburner just so you can kind of see things running and then we shall see if we can get this minor see if we can get this minor running for the first time so it's windows R. We'll just open up, we'll drag it into a, actually we don't need to because we've got a batch file, so we don't need to do it on the command line. Um, let's just try running this. Okay, so we've got a username error. Oh yeah, so that's, yeah, it is a uh, wrong formatting. So let's um, just close that. So it should be over slash. Um, how is that password formatted? Was it like this? Because um, the Grimple doesn't have a password field. Um, so maybe if I do it like this. You'll have to check with your pool to see the uh, correct formatting. But I think um, this should be it. Yeah, that looks better. So you connect to the host or the pool, uh, user and password. Mm. Okay, there was a dodgy message there, but now it says that we've got a new job. So uh, what I'm looking for is to see whether we get um, accepted shares. That's what I'm looking for. And um, if you guys are obviously mining, that's what you want to be looking for yourself. Um, accepted shares basically tells you that everything is running as it should. Okay, we'll just leave it running for a couple of minutes and see if those accepted shares um, start picking up. Okay, so it's been about 10 minutes now um, and I've actually stopped and restarted the miner. Uh, the reason being was I only see one accepted share in the miner. There was a couple of error messages, um, but also on the pool side of things, um, it was showing out actually that I was getting valid shares, but now those valid shares have now stopped. So there's something wrong between the miner and the pool. I don't exactly know uh, what the problem is or where it lies or what the solution is at this point in time. So what I'm going to do is uh, show you the miner running on Grimmin. I've again not tested it, so it'll be my first time mining it. I've just set up a demo account 
just to see how the this miner connects to Grimmin and then make sure it's uh, working normally for you guys. So I've got a um, kind of a dummy batch file here. So I'll put the links and everything that you need in the video description, same as I always do. Um, but this is the pool that we're going to be connecting to the pool, and then I've just created like dummy username and password uh, purely just for testing. So that's the batch file that we're going to be using to start. And um, let's start that up. So it is uh, grin thirty one dash grin minute. So yeah, I just want to see this time and make sure the miner is starting and running normally. Uh, see what the difficulty is and also the number of accepted shares. You should see them coming through um, fairly frequently. I can see already that the difficulty is set to four on the grin dash pool all get set to eight, which is a higher difficulty. It means it's going to take you longer to um, find shares. So again, we'll leave this running for a few minutes and then we shall see if we're getting accepted shares. And then we should also be able to check the stats on the pool um, using those um, details. Hopefully no one else is using them at the same time. Okay, uh, the mine is running uh, much better with this pool. So you can see it's been running for six minutes and 30 seconds. Um, still only showing one accepted shares, so that's that's okay. It just means that because of the difficulty, the uh, the flow of work is going to be longer, so you're not going to see as many accepted shares. Uh, but checking on the pool, you can see that the stats are just sort of showing up now. So let me move that out of the way. You can see we've got one worker, just one share, and you can see it just popped up on the um, stats there. Further down, we've got the hash rate that will obviously increase with time and valid shares. So it just means that it's connected to pool and it looks like it's off to a good start with the uh, grin pool.org. For some reason, something's not quite right there. So it might be just a connection issue. I'll come back and try it um, again later, but it does seem to be working much better with the grin pool.com. Um, so uh, a couple of things that we can look at um, this, the miner, the actual uh, kind of interface is really quite nice. There's a couple of cool features that I think are, um, are nice. It shows you your GPU uh, power consumption. Of course, it's not always super accurate, but it looks to be fairly accurate. Um, so that gives you a good indication of how much power you're using. Um, and this one also gives you a breakdown of how much power you've used in total since the miner has been running. So it gives you a kilowatt hour uh, breakdown as well. Uh, I also noticed in the readme, I've not tested it yet, but you can also add in um, your cost per kilowatt hour. So then it will show your total electricity usage and also a dollar amount uh, whilst the miner has been running. So that's quite a cool feature um, of this miner. So looking at the performance stats and profitability um, on my results that I'm getting, so I've got a, a GTX uh, 1080 Ti. It's a Gigabyte Extreme Edition and it comes kind of like pre-overclocked. And we are getting uh, 0.63 or 0.6562. Uh, giga hashes per second. So that compares with um, 7.2 giga hashes on C29. Um, there is a calculator on grin pool.org. If we go all the way up to the top, uh, what's one? Now, these calculators are not always super accurate, but they really use for give you a, an idea or an estimate of what you can earn. So if we say 0.65 with C31 and 7.2 with um, C29, and which should I mine? So you can see it's probably easier on a per day basis. So 0.221 for C31, which is what I'm currently mining, and 254 for C29. So on that basis, um, mining um, C29 is gonna be slightly more profitable mining Grin. Um, some of the other stats from the thread uh, said that people's getting slightly higher hash rate on C31. So yeah, uh, my card is similar to this card here actually, except it's not the Waterfalls version. Uh, and that's 0 0.70. So perhaps with a little bit of overclocking, you might be able to get a slight uh, performance improvement. Um, but I think even at 0.7, I don't think that's gonna be quite enough. It's gonna probably need to be about yeah, it's still not quite enough there. 
So maybe 0.8, 0.9 on C31 to make it more profitable at this moment in time. Of course, uh, there's two separate algorithms, so the difficulty and network hash on both of those is gonna change all the time. So it's worth um, keeping an eye on and seeing what the profitability might be like in the future. Um, this is really good early on. Unfortunately, there was only Linux miners available. Um, so that's when the profit was great. Now that more people are obviously involved in Grin and there's a lot more mining, and the profitability um, is not quite there at the moment for C31. So we'll see how that performs uh, in the future. At this moment in time, I'm not going to do any overclocking or anything else. Really just kind of a, a uh, I say quick video. I know it's obviously uh, run on quite a long time already. But I just wanted to show you guys that want to mine using C31 with Windows and your NVIDIA cards. Um, this is how to, to get up and running with it. Okay guys, so I'm going to leave it here. Thank you very much for watching. I really do appreciate your support. If you like this video, please give it a like. If you're not a subscriber already, then please hit that subscribe button. It'd be great to have you part of our growing mining crypto community here. And uh, that's it all. I'll see you guys on the next video.